You see, um, this is really model to ARPA-8. We think fast. So, so, yeah, we have one more member for our discussion. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Harris and Dr. Munari. So let's open uh, podium. Let's open for the, uh, for the discussion, forum for the dis Any questions uh, for either? I know we are running late. And uh, Beth and Wendy, I'm sorry, but we'll just take like five, ten minutes and then run. Um, any questions for either Dr. Harris I, um, I, or, or Dr. Monares? I have a question from the public. Yes, please. Um, Dr. Monares, what is the best way for someone to reach you and the team to discuss an idea, discuss a diagnostic technology? Aruna, would you like or? or <laughs> Yep, go ahead, Arunan. Yeah. Sure. So it's a question of how mature the idea is. I think if you're at a point where you would like to kind of go into the ring, see if this could be a good fit for a program, then we recommend that you reach out through the website, which has a dedicated portal for program, matter, program manager submission. Uh, there are resources there to help you frame your idea in terms of the Heilmeyer questions that Dr. Uh, Menard has uh, outlined as well as um, other resources that we will be posting to kind of talk through things. Um, I think the cancer area is one that we are very excited about. So if, if that diagnostic is in that space, feel free to email me directly and I can, can route you. It's just my first dot last name at arpa-h.gov. So we, we, we want to make the barriers as low as possible, that, that first in interaction, because we know that sometimes we need to demystify the organization before you, know, you put the time and energy in to really frame your idea in terms of the Heilmeyer questions. So thank you. Uh, so we know, uh, just one more question maybe for uh, Dr. Monaris. Um, You know, we know, uh, we know, we, we believe uh, that uh, you are already interested uh, in uh, integrated di diagnostics as uh, we had a privilege to listen to uh, Renee. And uh, really, uh, she was very enthusiastic as diagnostics is definitely moving into data science. Um, I think there may be already people applying in that arena, but I just, we need to know that program managers, it's actually a term appointment. It's not a lifetime appointment. Uh, so what's the term? Five years, three years or five? It's a three year term with up to one renewal. Okay. I just think that uh, it would be nice. Just, just guys, so you know, ARPA age will be even more successful than DARPA was many years ago, and DARPA helped even UK. So we're going to help globally as well. Uh, are there any other questions made for Dr. Harris and NCI? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, hi, hi, Lindsay, Roy Herbst. Good to see you again. Um, I enjoyed your talk, and I can't help but think that's exactly what this forum talked about, what, 10, 15 years ago when the whole NCI clinical trials were revolutionized and those science-driven trials. But I'm wondering two things as you present that. One, how is the public-private public -private partnership working with industry? So you want to get the most new drugs and the most active drugs, so I, w I wonder how are you doing getting those? And two, how are you paying for all this? I'm, I'm very, it's great that you're getting these drugs to patients all over the country. Is, where is that money coming from? Right. So um, the, the, the drugs that um, we're using for the study are um, all uh, collaborations with pharma. Um, and we um, work through our, our CTEP colleagues, Cancer Therapy Evaluation Program, uh, uh, develops relationships with uh, each of the pharma companies. And we have a data uh, to predict uh, their rights and so forth, um, and we negotiate with them uh, for, you know, depending on uh, which of the studies it is, whether it's a combination or an immunotherapy or uh, acute leukemia therapy, um, we negotiate with them for specific trials, um, and those are all, uh, I think, going very well. We have um, 10 trials that are about to be opened for combo match. Um, and uh, similar numbers of trials for the um, acute myeloid leukemia myelomatch um, are under development. And each of those protocols uh, is assigned to a different tier. Uh, and then for immunomatch, we have one study 
that is um, a pilot that is being developed a combination um, to define the different uh, subgroups uh, and the um, you know the plan is to increase over time um, the so pharma is supporting uh, the drug itself um, and uh, the molecular diagnostic network for example is supported by the NCI uh, through uh, funding from uh, the um, the NCI directly from the director's office. Great. So apropos to this meeting, those samples are so valuable. How are they uh, distributed? How would someone, you know, write a grant or access those samples to do diagnostic studies? Right. So um, there are uh, there's a, a whole mechanism uh, that was developed uh, called the uh, uh, relative proposal working group where we receive proposals for each of these samples uh, and uh, after the samples are uh, for what you know their intent through, through the actual cooperative group itself uh, they are then uh, placed into the um, the registry where um, proposals from the community can come in uh, the patient navigator is our process for all NCTN samples. Um, the community puts in an LOI, um, and then those are re reviewed. And if accepted, they go on to a full proposal, uh, which is reviewed both by the cooperative group uh, membership, uh, as well as um, the NCI and outside community members. So it's uh, a um, review process that is uh, across the different groups as well as community members, so to maintain fairness of the process. Sounds great. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you so much. So uh, since we are really running out of time, maybe we can have a question for both Dr. Harris and Dr. Monares, and it's called Culture and Data Sharing. Uh, Dr. Harris, you already have scars from that, and, and you know the painful points, lessons learned. And Dr. Monares, how do you uh, envision addressing that point? It's a huge point. Medicine, as you already know through your previous work in innovations, it's uh, not as flexible. So, Dr. Harris? <laughs> Right. So, yeah, data sharing has always been uh, a bit of a, a, a touchy subject. Um, we uh, are recently uh, updated our data sharing rules uh, that are now being implemented through our grants programs where uh, all data must be shared, uh, all molecular data and uh, clinical data must be shared um, at the end of the study. Uh, and that is being implemented now shortly. Uh, we also have a cancer research data commons where uh, data from, uh, for example, all the cancer moonshot studies had to share data that was part of the edict. Uh, so the uh, cancer research data commons is made up of a number of different modules. Um, the uh, cancer data service, um, the canine data commons, the uh, clinical research trial data commons, um, the imaging data commons. So there are a number of different data commons that are now being um, developed or have been developed uh, to house all of the data that's coming in from grantees and uh, from other NCI directed programs. Thank you so much. Dr. Monares, are you also going to require, require open access to data sharing? Yep, absolutely. Uh, we will d design our data sharing policies in alignment with the, uh, the public access policy that the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy issued, um, what was it, last year, um, making sure that all of our data is available to those who would benefit from its, its utilization. Yep. Um, any other remarks or any, any, any comments you would like to give us, Dr. Monares, for the group? 
Well, just on the data side, I mean, my experience in trying to run innovation in the broader sort of health ecosystem in, in my previous role is without data, you can't innovate. Um, you end up sort of, uh, you know, if, if, if innovation is a hundred meter dash and you don't have data, you're starting behind the starting line. If you have data, you can sprint ahead and you can start your innovation approach with at the 90 meter, uh, 90 meter mark of the hundred meter spread, uh, sprint. So, Data means everything when it comes to innovation. And so uh, I really liked what Dr. Harris was talking about in terms of the, the data sharing commons that are being created within within NCI. And we hope to parallel something very similar within our page. Fantastic. Uh, so just guys, remember, data is everything. So with that in mind, thank you very much. We're going to close this session. Thank you, Dr. Harris and Monares. Uh, thank you, Arunan. Uh, and uh, Beth and Wendy for the next session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.